Today, uh, we're going to be talking about branding and I will use myself an ex as an example because my branding has been crazy most of my life, uh, my adult life, and it's important on the internet because 20 years ago, it was like, you could be like, I'm over here doing this thing and I'm over here doing this thing and they're two very different things and these people don't need to talk to these people and also um, they're never going to meet and blah, 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 blah. But now in today's internet, if you say on the internet, I am a basket weaver. And then again, in another realm, you say, I am an astronaut. Then the people who are expecting you to be an astronaut see that you are a basket weaver and they go, yikes, we don't want you to be an astronaut if you're not fully committed. And then all the people who are asking you to basket weave are like, whoa, you are an astronaut? Well, we don't want you to weave our baskets. We want a basket weaver. So, ah, that's crazy. And depending on where you live, it's even more crazy because, um, you know, Los Angeles only wants you to be a basket weaver for purple baskets. Oh, meanwhile, in other places, they are totally okay with you being a basket weaver and an astronaut and a physicist and blah, blah, blah. So branding and the internet, in my opinion, makes it crazy. And so I hope you can understand in your world how having a lot of slashes after as, as what you do, director, producer, writer, actor, um, can make it crazy because people don't know how to hire you and what you, they, people want to help. They want, what do you love doing on set? What do you love doing in the entertainment industry? Cool, I will hire you for that. Um, this is especially true when you're working on, you know, short films and low budget stuff where people, they, they know, well, in a practical sense, they know they can get you for a cheaper rate if you're doing something that you love that will maybe benefit you in a different way, like a credit and a reel. But also people, I think they just want to help people live uh, their dream, you know? And so I know that for me, it's been very frustrating being like, well, I do all this stuff and I want to let them know. And do I pick this or do I pick that as my main thing? So these days, my main thing is directing. Interestingly enough, I get called in for a lot of different things, so it's fine. But by asserting that, I have learned that uh, it's clarity for the people around me. I already knew that, but it was really hard for me to pick something. I was afraid to pick something. And then I let them know, luckily, how I have all these other categories of things that I can do and maybe they'll call me for that, and they do, but ultimately it's directing. So a lot of actor producers, director producers, um, people who produce and do something else have a production company. And that's because they probably at some point wanted to make something and uh, they had to do it themselves. So, and regardless of scale, because I mean, I'm talking about the smallest, shortest film in the world, all the way up to like Michael Bay as a production company or Brad Pitt. So uh, it's a way of getting the project done and also doing your main thing. Brad Pitt, main thing, acting, has a production company to get stuff done. Michael Bay, main thing, directing, has a production company to get stuff done. So, uh, in that, I learned that I have my main thing, directing, and then I have Firewalk Productions to get stuff done. And so, I have organized myself, so there's three aspects now to what I do, and I feel like they're all valid. I mean, there's a lot of aspects, but the three ones that have emerged in the form of, um, the way I'm visualizing it right now, because there's other aspects, but right now there's the directing. I had to decide what to associate my name with. So if my name is Leslie Lello and I have the website lesliewello.com, do I put on there that I am a producer or an actor or maybe I'm doing web development? Before I had director, I had web development. 
And if you've watched my videos on, I don't know if I've posted them yet, um, I just, I created them a little while ago, um, about uh, my lifetime, my phases of my life. Um, there have been so many iterations for LeslieLello.com. You can go to Wayback Machine and see all the stuff that I've done. Um, but I have landed on director and that hasn't changed for like 10 years um, in my core. So that's what it's going to stay. And then there's all these other little things that I do. So in relation to the directing, I teach directing and I teach producing and I do that under the banner. There might be two websites, but it's right now just how to produce movies.com. And that will be the teaching aspect, the mentoring aspect. And I really like that I have that as a home for that. And then I have the part that gets stuff done, which is Firewalk Productions, production company. Um, you know, it's the, it's the thing that makes things happen, I guess. If you're producing, you're producing projects, whether it's a YouTube video or whether it is uh, a movie or a course or something like that. Um, and I really like that setup the more I think about it. And now it's just really, if I consider that my main three things, then there is there are all these other aspects to it, like where do I put photography? It's sort of a director thing because it's related to cameras, but not really because it's not moving image. Is it more of Firewalk Productions because it's a service that I offer people who want to make an image, a still image, and it goes along with making images for people when I'm working in a producer sense for businesses who want to have promos done. So uh, it's been very interesting and I offer this up to you uh, for two reasons. One is to let you know where you can find me because I know it gets a little bit, I know when I visit other people's sites, it's confusing. It's like, wait, you have that that website that's your name and then you have this other one that's like not your name, but it's like you're teaching a course there and then you have this other website where you talk about basket. I don't know why I'm using the, the, the example basket weaving, but it seems like the most random, like widgety type, you know, example. So you have a basket weaving website and I have something comparable to a basket weaving website that I will not be talking about because I don't want to add to the confusion. But um, I will say that if you're going to have a basket weaving website and it's not your main thing and it's so off the charts, not, uh, not like your main thing is entertainment industry or your main thing is directing and you can add things that relate. If you have something that is totally unrelated basket weaving, you might want to also use a pseudonym. And my basket weaving thing has a pseudonym. Not because I'm worried about people finding it, but when people do a search for my name, Leslie Lello, I don't want my basket weaving to come up as the first thing that comes up. So just keep that in mind. That's how I've manage that because I don't want to completely give up basket weaving and all the wonderful <laughs> it's not basket weaving but <laughs> Leslie Lello basket weaving <laughs> like it's not basket weaving but I I'm using that as an analogy so um you might want to use a pseudonym for that because and not in a um not in a sneaky kind of way but more just in a practical um I want people to search for me um, you know to first thing to pop up directing when I when people do a search for my name or my producing or the movies I've made or the YouTube videos I've made or the courses that I've created. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know um, in the comments and also uh, please subscribe. And I uh, don't forget to check out, I have a like a cheat sheet that I made for producing. If you're at all interested in learning how to produce, um, I think that that would be a great way to get an overview of what it what a flow of going from no um, idea for a story or whatever into um, post-production and film festivals. So feel free to sign up for that too. The link is below. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.